Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood DJ, back again after a very long break. I know it's been a while, um, had a lot of other things on my plate besides DJing recently, but um, fortune has smiled upon me, and now I am back in the saddle again, working on tons of new projects, three at once, as a matter of fact for you, which I will talk about later, but right now I am shooting a very quick video, a uh, little unboxing video, as some people are wont to do these days, um, of a new piece of kit I literally just got in the mail, like... 30 seconds ago. Uh, very, very excited about this. So without further ado, check it out. This is the Tractor Control Z1. Uh, brand new modular mixer from Native Instruments that was released, uh, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. So uh, just bear with me for a moment. I'll try to keep the camera movements as shake-free as possible while I unbox this here for you because, you know, got to do it one-handed. So, I'm going to pop this puppy open and uh, take a look at it. Uh, the main reason that I bought this is because I have got the Tractor DJ app for iPad and iOS 6, which, if I just go over here really quickly, you can see I have it on my iPad. Plugs in via USB, allows for external mixing. It's a, it's a really wicked little app, and once I get set up properly with the new mixer and everything, I'm going to show you how the app works. Which side of this did I cut open? Having a hard time remembering which side of this I cut open. This side. Here we go. Got it. Alright, let's pop this thing open and see what we've got here. Well, I might shake this so it comes out the other end like that. I don't need to worry about being rough with it because native instruments are really really good with their build quality and here we go there it is holy crap this thing is light like unbelievably light like do you guys remember my old uh, do you guys remember my old uh, Hercules mixer that thing was a tank compared to this this thing is unbelievably light and small and compact but that is kind of the idea. Camera is bouncing around all over the place like crazy. I'm doing this just before I go to work. Like, I literally have to leave for work in a few moments. But I wanted to show you guys what I've got here. So this is it. This is the this is the Z1. Uh, as you can see, it's a two-channel mixer. Um, you can use it with either the Tractor DJ app or you can use it with Tractor Pro 2, which I intend to do so once I get my piece, my Mac and everything up and running properly the right way. Um, $200, plus it's got a built-in sound card, so you can use it for external monitoring, recording, playing out. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing with this thing. Here's the headphone output down front. It's got up and down faders. Man, the up and down faders are really nice, and mm, those have got a lot of resistance to them. Crossfader's a lot looser, though. Um, that'll work better for me. Um, plus, I suppose people who want to try scratching with this thing could. Um, probably wouldn't recommend it. This is definitely more for a beat mix DJ's option. You've got uh, buttons for turning effects on. There's some really awesome effects that you can use with Tractor DJ for iPad. It's got your lows here, mids and high, gain, which controls other volume levels, uh, main power levels, and then it's got your cue section here. Which you know, listen to stuff on headphones. And uh, outputs on the back here, power cable, USB, and for speakers. I'm going to plug those into my Mackie SRM speakers. Really, really, really looking forward to playing with this. Only reason I can't do it now is because the new iPad 4, there it is again, um, uses that new lightning connection. And as I'm going to show you here in a minute, uh, the cable that ships with it, it's the old 30 pin style. So, yeah, not really going to work. So, uh, that's pretty much it quick little unboxing vid. I'll probably upload it to YouTube tonight when I get home for you guys to check out on my channel. Hopefully uh, YouTube won't be a dick about it and I won't have to do it to Vimeo instead. But uh, yeah, I'm back and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm going to do some more of these videos for you, show you how uh, the iPad app works, you know, on its own with the mixer. Um, just really, really, really glad to be back. Um, I will be talking to you guys soon.